Okay, I had to do a little uh, cold weather striking, so I was out in the garage and I thought I'd show a picture of uh, the motorized screw press I made. As you can see, screw press, excuse me, rolling mill. As you can see, it's a rather old model. Uh, what I did is I bought a half horse motor off of eBay. You can see that right there. I got a gearbox that I, uh, it's got a leaky seal, so they're throwing it away at work, so I borrowed it. A couple more pieces from thrown away equipment. I got a belt and a couple of pulleys. It's all running to or a foot switch, so I don't have to worry about it running off on me and crushing my fingers. I'm pretty sure it's a 30 to 1 reduction ratio on the gearbox. Uh, makes for a nice, good speed. Uh, you know, Let's do the rest of the shop. Here's my little screw press. I use this for uh, blanking. Set up right now to do a nickel size blank. I was blanking out some silver for uh, some pieces. Heat treat oven and some more blanking dies and such on top. That'll go up to about 2000 degrees. I use it at 1475. Uh, do, 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 more junk. Here's the big screw press. I'm gonna back up on this one. Those are probably bowling ball sized chunks of iron up there. Some dies I was working with. And the strikes. Uh, more stuff. Little sandblast cabinet back there. Some more uh, jigs and stuff for striking and cutting and blanking and such. And the screw press that broke at the a and Summer Seminar. You can see my modification to add a little more strength to it. Got a crossbar on there. Crack is down there where you can see the big puddle of welding. Uh, that's pretty much my shop. It's a little bit messy because it's winter and I don't care. Alright, 